What are option scalps? In today's video, we'll be going over one of Dopex Protocol's newest innovations, option scalps. In this video, we'll cover exactly how option scalps work, what the thought process behind such a financial instrument is, what demand exists for this kind of product, and how this product might affect the Dopex protocol overall. We'll also get into the trading competition that took place and see some relevant statistics about option scalps to know exactly what we can expect. Without further ado, let's get into option scalps. So what exactly are option scalps? Option scalps are a new financial instrument built on the Dopex protocol that aim to mimic low data expiration options like you would see in traditional finance. Scalping, for those of you who don't know, is a term used to refer to a trading style that has users making very low time frame trades in hopes of making small profits. By building up many small victories, scalpers slowly build up meaningful profits. Option scalps simply combine this concept with the option's financial derivative and offer users a way to scalp using these option contracts. For the sake of this video, I won't go in depth about how options work, but if you are curious about some of the details surrounding option mechanics, check out my SSOV's video for a quick explanation. Before we go any further, let's also establish what sort of demand this type of product sees in traditional finance. A recent report investigating the daily notional trading volume of zero DTE or data expiration option contracts in the U.S. stock market by J.P. Morgan concluded that these types of contracts have grown to a trading volume of $1 trillion a day. Now, obviously, the stock market is a lot bigger than the crypto markets, but as demand for this industry and its assets increases, this sort of financial instrument will surely have a place for speculators. Okay. So now let's break down exactly how option scalps work. Option scalps use option contracts to allow users to speculate on low time frame moves on a handful of assets. Users have the ability to choose what time frame they want to take trades in, and the current options for doing so are 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, and 60 minute contracts. Users also have the ability to leverage up on their trades with the help of liquidity providers. By choosing to leverage up on trades, option scalpers will be borrowing money from single-side liquidity pools on Dopex. In order to make sure that liquidity providers aren't financially ruined by degens aping their borrowed liquidity and losing it all, leverage will only be allowed relative to how much collateral scalpers put up to borrow said liquidity. The design is made so that users who are liquidated will only be allowed to lose enough money on the trade that they can repay the lost money to liquidity providers with their own collateral. We can better illustrate this through the example given in the Dopex article explaining the design. When opening a scalp position, the scalper must initially pay a premium depending on the time frame of his trade, and then post collateral if he chooses to take leverage. Assuming the scalper would want to take up a position of 1 ETH worth $1,500 with only $30 of collateral, he would need to leverage up by 50x. The scalper would then be exposed to a few different possibilities based on how the price of ETH changes. The worst case scenario for the scalper would be for the price of ETH to drop below his liquidation price. This compensation for liquidity providers using scalper's collateral would also occur if the price of ETH dropped under the initial 1500 but did not reach liquidation price. In this scenario, the money needed to make liquidity providers whole would be slashed from the scalper's collateral. All other scenarios would see the scalper either break even or make profit, returning the initial borrowed sum back to the liquidity pool and keeping the rest as profit. Some more key pieces of information to remember are that scalpers also have to pay a premium to open these option scalp positions. The money paid in premiums will vary based on the time frame of the trade, with lower time frames having cheaper premium costs and higher time frames having higher premium costs. These premium costs will be used to ensure security for liquidity providers' capital, as well as grow liquidity pools slowly over time. In this way, liquidity providers are guaranteed a high level of insurance, as well as a decent source of profit in the form of premiums. Another thing I'll mention was the recent Dopex Option Scalps competition. Dopex recently hosted a trading competition for the release of their new Option Scalps product to incentivize the use of this new product as well as test its limits. This competition saw hundreds of people participate, reaching an Option Scalp volume of $24 million total. 
The competition allowed users to make scalps on the ARB token as well as ETH and gave out prizes for the most profitable traders as well as the traders with the highest trading volume. More statistics about scalps can be found on the Option Scalps Dune dashboard made by Cadmus Benedict on Twitter who I will link in the description below. If you're interested in participating in this competition, round 2 of the scalping competition started on April 19th and will be held until the 25th. To conclude this video, I think it is wise to analyze how such a financial instrument could affect the DOPEX protocol in the future as well as the Arbitrum space. Decentralized options are still a very early in niche market in DeFi. With a product such as Option Scalps that also has a massive demand in traditional finance, I'm curious to see how DOPEX will hold up as crypto becomes increasingly more adopted and speculators set their eyes on the industry. Demand for speculation is evidently a driving force behind a lot of money flowing into Arbitrum, with protocols like GMX doing hundreds of millions of dollars in volume every single day. Overall, I think it will be interesting to see what role option scalps will play in the Arbitrum space. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe as it greatly helps this channel and its content. If you have any protocol suggestions that you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there, Anons.